Hey, welcome to Code Miners. Today we are going to see Java concurrent hash map. Let's see hash map first. Hash map is a part of Java's collection that is java.util package since Java 1.2. It stores the data in key value pairs. It provides the basic implementation of the map interface of Java. Hash map doesn't allow duplicate keys but allows duplicate values. That means a single key can't contain more than one value, but more than one key can contain a single value. Hash map allows null key also but only once, and multiple null values. This class makes no guarantee as to the order of the map, in particular, it does not guarantee that the order will remain constant over time. It is unsynchronized. If we try to modify the hash map while iterating over it, we get concurrent modification exception. It means that the new entry gets inserted in the it but iterator fails. Actually, iterator on collection objects is fail fast that is any modification in the structure or the number of entries in the collection object will trigger the exception. Let's create simple Java project. Now create a class hash map example. Here we are creating hash map with string as key and value. Let's put first element first as key and 100 as value. Second element second as key and 200 as value. Third element third as key and 300 as value. Print map before iterating over it. Iterate over map and put a condition on one of the key as we have here. We are checking equality of key and we are putting fourth element fourth as key and 400 as value. Again print the map. Now let's run it. Here we can see map has been printed before iteration. And we have got exception as concurrent modification exception. Because we are iterating over the hash map and simultaneously we are putting element into it and this is not allowed in hash map. So to overcome this scenario we have concurrent hash map in Java collection. Let's overcome this scenario. Concurrent hash map is a part of Java's collection, java.utility concurrent, since Java 1.5. It is the map implementation that allows us to modify the map while iteration. It stores the data in key, value, pairs. Unlike hash map it doesn't allows null key and null values. It's used in a multi-threaded environment to avoid concurrent modification exceptions so it is a thread safe.
In concurrent hash map, the object is divided into number of segments according to the concurrency level. Default concurrency level of concurrent hash map is 16. In concurrent hash map, at a time any number of threads can perform retrieval operation but for updation in object, thread must lock the particular segment in which thread want to operate. This type of locking mechanism is known as segment locking or bucket locking. Hence at a time 16 updation operations can be performed by threads. Let's create the concurrent hash map example class. Now create the concurrent hash map with string as key and value. Put same elements as before into the concurrent hash map. Print the concurrent hash map. Again iterate over the concurrent hash map and try to add the element as before on the equality of one of the key. Print the conorent hash map again after iteration. Let's run it. Here we can see it has been printed both the times unlike simple hash map. We have not got conorent modification exception. Let's see the hash map example with threads now. Create the class map with thread. Create the hash map with string as key and value. Let's create the object of class. Put the elements same as like we have added before.
Now extend the thread class to implement the run method. Start the thread. Add the sleep in the run method and add fourth element also handle the exception. Iterate over the hash map and print the elements from the map with sleep of one second. Let's run it. Here you can see we have got the concurrent modification exception. Now just change the hash map to concurrent hash map and run it again. You can see here element has been added into the map. Here is the difference between the hash map and concurrent hash map for you. Thank you for watching this video. Let's meet in next video.